dear students welcome to this lecture short lecture short session on whether uh, you should prepare gate or es together or only gate or only es many students are having confusion so uh, i thought of basically clarifying this in this uh, short session i am dr shodhe singh ex ies officer i cracked engineering services in 1998 and since last 26 years, I'm coaching students for GATE and IES. So any query, if you have after this session, we have a dedicated PW Telegram channel. So you can connect with me, Swadesh Sir PW that you can search. And every Sunday I'm live in the Telegram channel. So any query you can ask face to face or you can put in the Telegram channel. Okay. So now there are some similarities and there are some differences. And based on your aptitude, you should choose that I should go for only gate or only yes or both. So let us basically discuss for 10 minutes. Now, in gate and ES, what are the similarities? So first is around 70 to 80 percent syllabus, there is an overlap. In engineering services, around uh, 20 to 30 percent syllabus is only new like like especially like see, me mechanical renewable energy robotics mechatronics otherwise uh, 70 to 80 percent syllabus is almost similar now conceptual depth both require a strong conceptual clarity and numerical problem solving suppose you will say oh, in the prelims where is that concept i agree that in prelims uh, paper one 60 to 70 percent questions are direct 20 percent question there is a fundamental but when it comes to mains it's 100 percent fundamental just by mugging you will not be able to solve for example in gate by mugging doesn't help you have to have deep fundamentals only then you can correct gate similarly for ies mains also unless until your fundamentals are clear it will be difficult for you to handle now Standard references, there are some very basic references book for mechanical. Uh, for, of course, uh, we can follow this NAG and all these things. Production, we can have Calister for material science, production, Kalpagajian. My book is also there, uh, fourth edition of production engineering, industrial engineering. So, there are some references book we can follow, both for GATE and for IES. There are similarities, okay? Na? Now, exam timing. The gate, generally, it will be on the first or second Sunday of February. And IES prelim also will be around that time. So you don't have to separately endeavor. One time preparation, both exams are gone. <laughs> then smart study toppers often prepare for both together for maximum output. Because especially the railways are clubbed with IES now. And uh, believe me, railway is a very good job. Some of my friends, uh, though I left engineering services in 2001 after serving for one and a half year, my friends still are there and they are in Delhi. They, one is general manager Chris and one is ADRM Varanasi. So they have four BHK bungalow in Sarojini Nagar, Delhi. And the rent will be at least two to three lakhs. It's a, you know, they live like a king. Railway is a very good job for mechanical engineers. So those who are toppers or those who would like to do something for their family on their uh, their relatives, I think uh, ES is one of the best options. If, we, if you are from North India, it's a status symbol. But there are many, many people from South India, they are also preparing for these examinations. Now, what are the differences? <laughs> Exam body, of course, uh, ES is conducted by UPSC. Union Public Service Commission and GATE is uh, conducted by IITs. Okay. Then paper format. In ES, there is a paper one, paper two, I mean prelims, then mains, then interview. GATE, it's only one short objective. So uh, paper one, there is a GS and engineering aptitude. There are 10 topics. Mathematics is also there like environment, ethics, material science, project management, there are 10 topics. Of course, we have a dedicated team. 
and I can show you that um, in this market, PW is having a best team in paper one. We have very good faculties, those who have experience over 15 years. So, and then paper two is a technical, then there is a mains, there is an interview. And it's a single technical paper for three hours and 65 questions. Now, <coughs> technical paper time, prelims, it is objective, and mains, it is descriptive. Of course, prelims and mains and interview, all marks are added. Only MCQ, MSQ, MSQ or NIT. Multiple select, there are, for one question, multiple answers may be correct. non tech syllabus, huge in ESC. DS, ethics, project management, quality, so many, there are 10 topics. That uh, in a gate, engineering, mathematics and aptitude, approximately 25 marks. 25 marks. Then difficulty level. Prelims, if you know the syllabus and little bit idea prelims is easy to crack. Means we have to practice. And uh, in gate, unless and until you have very deep fundamentals, it is very difficult to crack gate. Some people say gate, gate is easy. Yeah, gate is easy for those, those who are having good fundamentals. And at PW, and every branch, especially mechanical, if you see, we have very good teachers. And uh, each and every teacher is expert, not only expertise, but he study and deliver a very deep fundamental. So you don't have to worry about it. Okay. Then descriptive writing, yes, in ESC means, but in gate, there is no descriptive writing. Career path, government, class one officers, and the railway, geolog uh, geological in, uh, survey of India, uh, uh, or you know, so many uh, naval armament, so many services are there, but railway is the craze. Through gate, you can go to PSUs like NTPC, BHEL, IOCL, and all that. You can go for MTech program in gate. You can go for research programs like MS Research. Uh, you will get a scholarship based on the gate course. And you also, some of the private companies also they're recruiting because they cannot conduct their own, own written test. It's expensive. So how they evaluate the uh, student's competence by using gate score. And you can go to some foreign universities also based on a gate score, like anywhere Singapore. And Germany, there are many, many institutes for MS and PhD program, they consider the gate score. Now, should you prepare for, for both together? Depends upon your situation. If you are a final year or graduate with one year, in that case, yes, we should prepare both. Align core subject, add GS gradually. I generally recommend November and December, you should spend approximately two hours daily for GS. So definitely you should prepare. But if you are targeting only PSUs and MTAC, your targets are not basically becoming a government officer and all that. Either you want to go to M, uh, MTAC program in IITs or ISC, targeting only the PSUs, EIL, IOCL, BPCL, BHEL, then prepare only on gate. Because in engineering services, the general studies will be a waste of time for you. Government job plus security mindset. <laughs> By the way, in this third category, many, many students fall. Security means uh, sub, you are preparing for IES, government job. But UPSC people call it, call it unpredictable service commission. So, gate is the security that suppose something happens to and you are not able to through in UPSC, through gate, you can get somewhere. You can get into IIT and go to the um, jobs and you, you will get good jobs in IIT. Fresh start with 1.5 plus years, you have surplus. In that case, you should definitely uh, uh, go for together. You should have, you should master both together using a smart strategy. If you study well for one and a half year, ES is a very easy exam. Now, the focus. Well preparation. Yeah, core technical uh, subject. Same for both ES and GATE. 
you should practice get an yes objective pyqs i recommend minimum 10 years of pyqs previous year question you should do it's not light i told you when you are beginning then only two hours per week gs you start light otherwise you will feel discouraged because for engineers of course, ethics is one of the syllabus for most of the beta courses, but many people do not have any idea about five or six items. Quality, we have an idea. Project management, we, have, we will have an idea. Ethics and mathematics, we will have an idea for current affairs. <laughs> so, now focus, get a specific practice, mock test and time management. PW, we have designed very good mock test for GATE. That there are subject wise test and there are topic wise test and then there are full test so we should not accumulate a 20 30 test that i will give and up to a number no that is a very bad strategy as the tests are coming weekly we should appear in this test and if there is any mistake you see the video solution we are providing the video solution for each and every test and whatever mistake you are making how to rectify that should go to your short notes so with that strategy, you can crack uh, uh, the gate very easily. Review GS and ESE patterns. That idea you will get from PYQs. Now, ESE means descriptive writing. Daily practice two to three questions. Daily, as a matter of habit. IAS, IFS, and ESE. These mains PYQ you should have, and every day either IFS or IAS or ESC PYQs you should solve, and we are providing that support also. And if you do that, I think that should be sufficient. Now, my final advice is GATE plus ESC is the maximum opportunity. <clears throat> there are government jobs, there are at least 13 or 14 government jobs. Of course, railway is the best as far as the, you can say, and the stature is concerned but still there are 12 13 other jobs also now profession is technical overlap balance gs and manage time this 30 percent uh, extra slavers i think you should do in october november december or january you should focus on the 70 percent common syllabus and the gs then use one subject two exams three career approach so my dear students, that's what I wanted to communicate in this short session. If you want to ask me anything, you just search on the telegram, Swadesh Sir PW. You can get into the telegram. And every Sunday, 5 o'clock, I'm live in that channel. You can ask anything. Wish you all the best. May God crack both gate and ESE for you. Thank you very much.